what are these flatworms doing? Are they fighting each other with their penises? Why are they penis fencing? These colorful ribbon-like creatures are mesmerizing and they have a unique mating ritual. The Persian carpet flatworms can fertilize or be fertilized. And that penis fencing duel you're seeing is their way of mating. It's such a process, isn't it? But how does penis fencing work? How do they find another flatworm to mate with? And can they be male and female at the same time? Persian carpet flatworms live in the shallow, temperate ocean waters of the Indo-West Pacific region. These worms get their name from the bright colors and intricate patterns on their bodies. They mate around the rocks in bays and lagoons. When their pseudo-tentacles catch a whiff of pheromones, it's time to find an attractive mate. But this 10-centimeter creature is a hermaphrodite. That means it has male and female reproductive organs. Most of its body is testes and ovaries. That's why flatworms duel while mating. The loser gets pregnant. And their weapons are one of a kind. Each flatworm fences with its two penises. Yeah, you heard me right. This conversation's about to get real uncomfortable. Each Persian carpet flatworm has two penises to increase its chances of successfully stabbing its mating partner. So romantic. Uh-oh, beware, gentle knight. The goal is to inject their opponent with sperm while avoiding getting stabbed themselves. And the more intense the stabbing, the more successfully the worm mates and passes on its genes. That will ensure its progeny are future winners in the mating duels. And their fights get pretty passionate, lasting up to one hour. Wow, that's a pretty ferocious fight. It's so rough that both opponents can get several permanent stab wounds. Flatworms can fertilize or be fertilized, but depositing the sperm has a much lower cost. The winning worm deposits its sperm under its opponent's skin. This process is called hypodermic insemination. The sperm will travel to the ovaries and inseminate the eggs. Then the winning worm leaves victorious and can mate with other worms. The female flatworm is the losing opponent, so to speak. They go through an extensive healing process from the stab wounds received during the battle. The inseminated worm withdraws from the combat field. It needs more energy and resources to carry its fertilized eggs. Pregnant polyclad flatworms form a capsule around their eggs for protection. When the capsule hardens, the flatworm lays the eggs in thin sheets and coats them with a sticky secretion. A flatworm can lay several hundred eggs. They gestate for about 10 days before hatching into larvae. Look at all these cute baby worms. Who's the cutest? Who's the cute? Okay, <clears throat> but don't confuse Persian carpet flatworms with nudibranchs. These real life Pokemons can steal venomous stings from Cnidarians like jellyfishes. Persian carpet flatworms are mesmerizingly colorful and have a weird way of reproducing. That's what they do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.